All right. Good morning. Good morning. So here we are coming to the very end of summer. I know it already feels like it. Labor Day comes, summer's done, but technically we really aren't. And we have a lot of energy shifting around in the cosmos right now. <clears throat> that portal of 9-9, very powerful. Actually, I'll put that recording in there if you want to go back through, because we're just in this portal of energy. We go through it. We go 10-10, 11-11, 12-12, all the way through and all our opportunities to really open up the light body even more, to really get into that deeper part of your soul. And so I, I will. I'll drop it in the tea tree site. Today, I wanted to talk about meditation because I just wanted to talk for a moment and like, why do we do it? How have we been meditating in here? And then we start the challenge on the 22nd, every day, a different meditation. Now, maybe you've already been through it. Maybe it's an opportunity to go back and review it. Maybe you have it. Why do we meditate? We know how powerful it is, but what's the, ten what's the tendency to avoid it? Too busy, can't sit still can't do it, all these things that we tell ourselves. But this is the practice of building that meditation. Now in these morning practices, we are doing the breath through a meditation like that, or we're running Reiki through a meditation. So it is all still a form of meditation, which is kind of my point. But sometimes I do think that we need to just like, let go of the guided part and just like, you know, like find those ones that work for us no matter where we are, traveling outside and knowing like, okay, what works for me? Like, you know, originally they had the yoga sutras, the yoga postures and the asanas to slow the kids down so they would sit still. So there'll be one where we really get a little bit more physical with the breath and then you'll notice like, oh wow, my mind is still. So I want you to notice what does work for you through this meditation challenge and can you really just show up for yourself because that is really part of it the dedication to be disciplined to say I'm going to do it and sometimes I know I sit in my mind I come out and go whoa my mind was busy today right and the other key is finding the times that work best for you I know afternoon is really important for me right I know first thing in the morning before I really get the mind I do like to write so sometimes I'll write the consciousness of my dreams and then I'll sit still but I know if I don't get it first thing in the morning my day can be a little chaotic so the the, the challenge is to also notice for you what's going to work and then also where can you commit right fall is a great time to kind of step back into your practice recommit yes I know I need to sit still also to change up your altar, start looking for things outside. I was on a walk yesterday, I already got a few acorns, right? But we, excuse me, we wanna change up our altar and change up the energy throughout your house to really feel that alignment with the season. Fall is about pulling our energy in, pulling our spirit back in. We start to gradually come in. It's about harvesting that growth from the summer so that you really can own your work, own what you've done, feel the gratitude. That's a dopamine hit. Dopamine helps you to continue with the good habits. When we don't honor it, we don't like give ourselves credit, we tend to skip right through, keep going. And then we're like, eh, nothing happened. I didn't do this, I didn't do that, right? Kind of like, actually, do you know what came in for me right now? It's like, even like those pictures, like, yeah, use them, go back through. This is what I went through, do share that. So what a good reminder that is as well. So today I just wanted to go through our practice. It really is a tapping day and we'll tap a little bit extra towards the end about like, I can't meditate. I'm never going to meditate. I can't sit still. I can't focus. But I just want you to notice as we move through the practice, where that focus is for you, as we line with the elements, as we drop into the heart, as we do our breathing, are you present? And is this the form of meditation that really does help you? What do you notice for you? Part of it is noticing what you notice, as I always say. All right, so let's begin as we usually do and already start to notice when you drop in, when you can feel that shift in your own brain pattern, the slowing down, however that works for you. So we go ahead and start with the element of fire. Calling in this beautiful element that inspires our soul, that activates the transformation energy Noticing how it turns to the element of air, clearing the space, clearing the mind. Taking a deep inhale, breathing up the body. Exhale, calling in the element of water, moving the emotions, opening the heart. Inhaling and exhaling, calling in the element of earth, grounding, centering. 
Inhale, expanding the breath up the body. And as you exhale, breathing all the way back down, slowing down. Inhale, expanding the breath up the body. Exhale, calling all your energy into you. Call it in, start to notice a little shifting. Inhale, expanding the breath up the body. And as you exhale, aligning your energy, calling in the spiritual body to align right on top of the physical, the emotional, the mental, physical body, all aligning. Inhaling and exhaling, dropping into the heart, right here in the deepest part of your heart. Start to feel that connection. Notice how you drop right in. Start to send energy out, Reiki energy. Feeling that slowing down, noticing. How's that feel when you're in your heart? Know that you're loved, guided, protected. Feeling all this energy as we go to create this beautiful sacred space around us. As we call in our Reiki masters, we call in our teachers, the archangels for joy and love. Calling in the crystal beings, amusement, magnification. Calling in your higher self right on top of the ground to receive all these messages for you. Right here, notice. Can you feel the sacred circle around you? Can you feel the heart opening, bringing in the love, all the angels of the healing field, opening the heart? The magic the crystal beings bring us, enlivening this field of energy around you. Inhaling, now expanding the breath all the way up, go beyond. <clears throat> Notice how when you go beyond the difference that feels and then call in absolute light. As we call in the absolute light streams of grace, we begin to flood our energy field with this beautiful light. Now expanding from the heart, this is the aura opening. Start to feel the aura, breathe, expand, front, side, back. So we want the awareness all around us through our energy field, not in our minds. That's why we drop into the heart, imagining the breath coming out of the heart, imagining it moving through the heart. So we have the vertical and the horizontal. Coming back into the heart. What is your intention? As we honor the seasons, the very end of summer, what can you gather up for the growth for you? So feel that energy right here all around you. And allow it from the heart to help you set that intention. Holding that vibration of light, not in the mind, in the heart. Breathe into the heart. Exhale through the heart. Into the heart. Exhale. Into the heart. Exhale. Notice the elevated emotions as you breathe into the heart, owning your growth, preparing to step forward into that new season, that new direction, which will be towards the west. Breathe right into the heart. And now 
release, release this out through the auric field, setting that intention for an amazing ability to step forward with your light, your work, your growth. We call in the directions to the south, to the west, the north and the east, above us, below us, finding our ways back into the heart, co-creating your source, your light with the greater source, the greater light, and just now releasing that all around you. Inhaling and exhaling, constantly coming back into the heart. Breathing from here. Stay with it, notice your focus. I'm gonna give your focus a direction right here. One pointed focus. So let the mind be steady, the heart breathe. strong, holding the steadiness, the heart is breathing, The mind drifts, come back. Turn to the focus on the breath in the heart. Returning to the vertical breath, breathing up the body, and exhale, breathing all the way down, all the way deep into the earth, and just taking a moment, five minutes, noticing how that was for you. Do you feel quieter? Do you feel more centered? Can you show up for yourself every day? So many values and really calming the mind. David Hawkins says, when we live in the mind and do everything for the mind, the mind has no ability to discern the truth. And so it just takes us out of our focus. What am I doing? What's going on? What's real? Can I believe? But when we drop into the heart and do that breathing, we know our soul to be true and how we want to show up. So let's just do a little tapping on committing, committing to showing up for you. So just notice for you, like, are you committing? Is it a hard thing for you? 
even just, you know, start with five minutes. We'll do 20 in the meditation challenge. But right here, just noticing for you. I know I want to show up every day. I meditate. But I just get too distracted with life. But I choose to love and accept myself no matter what. Yeah, I know, I know how good it is for me, but maybe there's no buts needed. I choose to love and accept myself no matter what. It's probably just the discipline of showing up. I just don't know why, but it makes it hard for myself. I seem to be fighting with my own ego. Very true. But I choose to love and accept myself no matter what. Moving through the points. I know I need to. No needs. Maybe coulds. It is really good for me. To slow my mind down. To center my third eye. But the world just moves too fast. It sometimes seems impossible. I've got too many things to get done. But I do make mistakes when I get scattered. Try too fast. Don't stop. Don't breathe. So maybe I can commit for myself and make an agreement. I can start small. I can start with five minutes with the goal of 20. 20 will change the resonance with you. So put a timer on and just breathe. I choose to make this commitment. And on days that I can't, one minute. One minute will hold this commitment with myself. The world is moving too fast. The power is in slowing down. Lord knows I want power for my own path, for my soul to breathe, for the human spirit to be able to recognize my purpose, my work, my moving forward in my life. I choose this commitment. I choose this agreement with myself. In whatever form meditation shows up for me, I choose to come back to my soul, into my deepest part of the heart, and notice what I notice right there. Get the thymus for my health, for processing energy, for my highest good, to receive messages, to trust this new part of my path opening, to help myself ground as we move through the eclipse season and all the changes coming forward. I choose this agreement with myself for my health, my happiness, my spirit. I choose to love and accept myself, Karate Chop, no matter what. Take a breath, hold the breath in. Exhale out. Just take a moment and notice from where you started this morning to right now. Bringing the hands up to the heart. Moment of gratitude. Lifting the vibration. You showed up. You've done it. You've experienced this quiet within you. Gratitude for the soul, the connection to the greater source of light. Gratitude for slowing down for you. Inhaling and exhaling all the way down deep into the earth. Grounding, centering, feeling the heart opening, feeling the focus of the third eye, 
And as you're ready, bringing your awareness back, coming back. To your spirit, take this out with you today. Notice how you start your day. Thank you.